Hey everyone, it's Loopy Lugs Gaming here, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video of Final Fantasy VIII. Now, in the last video, we lost the Chickabo card to the Queen of uh, Cards. We finally got her to move to Dullet. Took me ages though. We took a trip to Trabia Gardens for Selfie, and we found out that Irvin, Zell, Quistus, Selfie, and Squall, sorry, and alone, they were all in an orphanage together. And we resumed the video with all the guys still at Trabia Gardens. We're just reminiscing about more information on the orphanage. Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. You mean Sis is alone? She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely up for helping her. She's part of our orphanage gang. You didn't even remember who she was. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you too. Right, so... It's pretty scary. You've forgotten all these things. Ah, so Ma and Pa aren't my real parents. I wonder where the orphanage is. Hmm, so Sis was alone, eh? Everyone was fond of Sis, but you, Squall, you kept hogging her all to yourself. You sure have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. Probably the same with Cypher too. <laughs> you two must have been at Garden by the age of five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. And nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him. Either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun af after going to Trabia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. Well, that's what I think. But I don't know what's up with you guys. It's so odd that you would, you would forget. I, I remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home. So I came to the garden at the age of 10. That was when I first noticed Cypher and Squall. Cypher and Squall were always fighting. Yeah, Chris has always used to break us up. Yes, that's right. Cypher was a kid who always needed to be the centre of attention. But Squall always used to ignore him. But eventually they would end up fighting. Squall could have easily walked away from it, but always took up the challenge. He should have just ignored him, but Squall, almost in tears, would say, I gotta do my best by myself or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean, alone's place. I tried, but to no avail, that's probably it. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. I thought it was love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor, but I've come to realise it wasn't. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Oh well. I misunderstood love. Actually, I had completely given up when Renoa came into the picture. Hey! It must be the same for Cypher. I'm sure Cypher has forgotten his childhood too. But whenever he sees Squall, his inner feelings start to boil and... Is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? Why is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids. How is that possible? How about this? The price we pay for using the GF. The GF provides us its power. But the GF makes its own place inside our brain. 
So you're saying that the area is where our memories are stored? No. That's just a rumour the GF critics are spreading. So, if we keep relying on the GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things. There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. Then, how is it that I remember, while everyone else has forgotten? Well, in my case, I hadn't junctioned a GF until recently. That's why I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with the GF was when you came to Ballon Garden, right? Yeah. Is it because of GF that we forget? Is that why other forces re refrain from using GF? I have a confession to make. When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training session. I found a GF inside one of the monsters I defeated. I junctioned that GF for a while, so I have experience with GF too. But, but it's really weird. I can't remember the name of the GF. It must be the GF's fault. What should we do? What should we do? N nothing. What? <laughs> what do you mean nothing? So, what do you want to do? You want to stop using GF now? As long as we continue fighting, we are indebted to the powers of the GF. If there's a price to pay for that, I'd gladly pay it. Hey, I know, let's all keep a diary. That way we'll always have something to remind us. Are you sure that's what you want? Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, I don't care if I forget about my childhood when Cypher used to pick on me. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents in Balam. They adopted me. There's no way I'm letting go of that power. Hey. Do you all remember Matron? She was always wearing black. Let's see, Matron, dressed in black. She's the... Very kind, long black hair, yes. I really admired her. She looks awful, awful close to someone that we know. I see a resemblance, matron. They look alike. Wait, I just pictured her face and... Look alike? Nah, that's not it. Matron's name is Adea Kramer. Ooh. Matron is Sorceress Adea. Matron, Sorceress Adea? Why is the Matron? Why? You're wondering why Matron would take over a country or fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. You're probably right. Hear me out. Seed and Garden were all Matron's idea, right? I'm not a Seed, but I share the same feeling with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorcerers, right? This is strange. That's right. It was when I was being tortured by Cypher. He wanted to know what Seed was. Matron should know. But Matron is sorceress Adea. There's no denying that. What does this all mean? Squall, you listening? So like this, so like this is what I wanted to say. Let's see, oh yeah. I understand what Renault is saying. Sorry guys, didn't mean to hit that. I understand, but still I'm going to fight. I wanted to stay true to everything I've stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we would have to face Matron. You've all heard this before. How life has infinite possibilities. I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose sometimes. There would only be one. 
from the limited possibilities I faced, the choices I made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I choose. I want to hold the true path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of the GF, but I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. I'm here because I chose to be here. And more importantly, we all grew up together, but due to various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. But... But somehow we're together again. Just like old times. Though a lot's changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight Matron or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. Hey, at least they'll keep us together a little longer. Yeah, let's do it. We can't run from the, for the rest of our lives. It's just such a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matron. I know, but Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Renoir, it's up to you. We're gonna fight. I think it's the only way that we can move on with our lives. If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everyone wants. Look, look. A gift from the fairies. Yo, you want to go check out a day's orphanage? I wonder what it's like now. We must find a clue. A clue? You mean as to where Matron tur- Why Matron turned out like this? It probably had to do with something that happened in the past, but... The past is the past. It's over. Done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see too. I don't know what we'll find, but let's head for a day's house. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> I guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless. <laughs> I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. I think that's what everyone's afraid of. I wish we didn't have to fight either. Right, so make a party three. Right, so move Squall up there, put Zell in and... Renoir, the usual ones. Now, Junction Exchange, he's got that. It's just going to be Selfie onto Renoir. Right, so here we are back in garden. So we are going to go to Adea's house. It is, oh wrong button, uh, Adea's house I think is down on this uh, continent down here so I think it's kind of right on the edge near a lighthouse so I think it's down here so we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, looks like it's up here, oh, oh no we didn't want to do that, no 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 no. Damn it. Didn't mean to trigger Balam. Eh, uh, not Balam, eh, uh, Galbadia Garden. What do you think? They probably know we're here too. If not, we'll make the first move. The battle is inev inevitable. The sources is with them, huh? So this is going to be uh, the final battle. I hope so. 
What should I do first? I have to give orders to everybody. It's my responsibility. I have to try and keep it simple. If I give out too many orders, it could lead to chaos. What should I say? Come on, think. There's no time. Right, so prepare our defense. Uh, take care of the junior classmen and prepare for the attack. End. Give out the orders when you're ready. This is Squall speaking. This is an emergency, so listen carefully. We're going into battle against Galbadia Garden. First and second class sabers assemble in the parking lot. Those with MG rank 3 or above head for the second floor deck and await instructions. Be sure to warm up. The enemy will probably come aboard. We must concentrate our forces at the front gate and to the quad. If your student ID number is even, report to the quad. If it's odd, report to the front gate. Those who have student ID numbers ending with an 8, take care of the junior classmen. Come on, Squall. So we go down. Can't believe we triggered this. I wanted to go to Day's house beforehand. I thought it was part of the gang. Sorry about that. What do you want us to do? I want you guys to help me lead the, with the others. When Zell gets here we'll divide into two teams. Zell, um, I think he's taking a nap. Yeah, he said he hasn't slept at all lately. What? Oh yeah. What you guys talked about? Nothing. It's our, our little secret. What's he doing? We don't have any time. I'm going to check the quad. Who's coming with me? Alright, so we don't really need to do any junctioning or whatnot just yet. Because I don't think there's any fights, so... Take Selfie and Irvin. Christus, find Zell. You guys work together and lead the team at the front gate. Alright. We still ha have time to, so don't bother equipping your GF yet. Oh, so it tells us. <laughs> All right, let's go to the quad. So, jump in here. Squall, what about Renoa? Renoa, you guys take care of her. So here we go with another kind of cutscene. I love to see how, how bad these cutscenes look though. Alright, so we'll talk to all these guys here. What are you doing? What's your status? Indirect magic operative level 2, sir. You're a first class MG, report to the deck immediately. Yes, sir. What about you guys? Fire platoon, level 3 trainee, sir. Fire platoon, level 1 trainee, sir. Rescue team A, medic, sir. You two head for the deck. Medic, report to the defense team. Yes, sir. So just clear out the rest of these floors by talking to everybody. Report to your positions. I'm late, I'm late. Yes, sir. I'm scared a little. I can't do it, I'm just too nervous. Being nervous will reduce your reflect fight fighting ability by 20%. Just relax. Look, I finally mastered the Fyraga class magic. Pay attention or you're gonna burn yourself. Right. So that's has spoken to everybody here, we'll go down. Need to speak to this dude. Sir, please use this. Receive cottage. You're supposed to be in the classroom. What does a cottage do again? 
All right, so it's like a tent, but just gets used on the GFs. So so it builds up their health and stuff. Uh, first floor. Right, speed this up a bit. So we can't go down these ones anyway, but. through here you guys oh Jesus Christ it's a Zell sharing the people all right listen up oh my god those guys don't look too good do they this is the big one guys we gotta win no matter what <laughs> Are you guys all feeling all right <laughs> look at the state of them pixelized sup squall I got this place covered. I thought you were asleep. Oh yeah, your announcement woke me up. My student ID is even, so I'm supposed to be here, right? Yo, Squall, come here just a sec. Uh, it's about your ring. <laughs> Excuse me? It's about my what? This might not be the time, but what is it? Give me your ring, will you? I just want to borrow it for a while. I won't lose the ring. Come on, what do you say? Why do you need it? Uh, I can't tell you that. It's obviously a secret they're keeping from me. Come on, just give it to me. You can trust me. What the hell? I like this ring. I guess it's alright if he just wants to borrow it. Don't lose it. Yeah, thanks, man. I didn't think you were going to give it to me. Renault is going to be so happy. Renault? All right, Squall. Leave this place up to me. Cell, you're here. Guys, I'm going to fight too. I don't want to just hide. I know I can fight. I want to fight alongside everyone. I hope this is the last time we have to fight in our home. The enemy will most likely try to come in through here. So we'll definitely have to hold them off right here. I have to fight to prove to myself that I can do it. That I belong with you guys. Take care of yourself. Right, so that's his. Squall, get back to the bridge. Zell, I'm counting on you. Good luck, everyone. Time to get it all. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video. Now, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, you can check out my affiliate links down in the description. One for Wraith Energy, where you get 10% off, and one for Instant Gaming, where you can get cheap PC games and wallet top ups for uh, consoles for dirt cheap. Thanks for watching another Final Fantasy VIII video. If you've liked it, High five that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that subscription button down below. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. I'll see you in my next video.